Hi there, from Lewistone Optical of the UK. This is our first series and today we're looking at instruments and mainly we're going to have a good look at the Oculus trial frames. Uh, the most popular one that we do is the UB4 and as you can see it's made up of, believe it or not, 146 different parts. They do all sorts of things swivelling, whether it's the bridge or the eyes or the sides going up and down. It's the most popular one we sell. We do have two others, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, the main selling point of the UB4 is it takes three trial set lenses at the front here, and it also takes two trial, lens, tri two trial set lenses at the back. As I said, very popular. I shall put it on for you, and you can see how it fits. I've got a fitting on model in the background, looks better than I do, but there we go. Right, so that's the UB4. I shall put that to the side and then I will come up with the next one. This is the UB6 also from Oculus. This came out two years ago. It was made mainly because it doesn't use as many parts and it does look a lot more modern. It does all the things the UB4 does, but it just has maybe that more modern look. One big difference is it takes four trial set lenses at the front and it takes two at the back. And finally, I'll come on to the third trial frame. This is the UB3 Plus. It used to be the UB3. This was always known as the traditional frame. Many of your parents would have been brought up and they would have worn this at the opticians many years ago. Oculus have re-released it. It's made of aluminium. It's a lot lighter and has also proved to be a lot more popular. The bridge has been improved here and it also comes with two extra bridges. All the three trial frames, the UB3, the UB4 and the UB6, they all come in a nice storage box which you can use all the time. We also provide you with a free lens cloth. Oh, Ouch. and there's also a mug. Where's my, who's got my mug? And there's also a mug and a special Lewis Stone limited edition pen. For those of you who want, with the UB6, we've now got an aluminium case which is specially for the UB6 and this will also take four slit lamp lenses. So you can see there's four different sizes it will take. So for the future, if you buy another slit lamp lens in a few years, you've got this storage case and you can also fit in the UB6. I hope this has been helpful to you. Just to let you know, in series two, we're going to have a look at our instrument kit bags, which include the magical color flippers. Thanks very much. Hello again. Uh, had a load of questions in from people regarding the Oculus trial frames. I'll try and answer as many as possible. First question I've got is, and this has come from several students from various universities, which trial frames should I buy for university? Very hard question. A lot of the universities always recommend a certain trial frame. Often it's the UB4, or they might say to their students, it's entirely up to you. But if we want to look for popularity, it's always been the UB4 number one, this the UB6 has been number two, and then the UB3 number three. But before you buy, I would ask a senior lecturer at the university and say, which one should I go for? Because it could be that the department sort of say, we would prefer you to use this one to that one, and you don't want to have already gone and bought the wrong one. Often when you go into pre-reg, the directors of the practice might say, what trial frame do you use? And Invariably, it's always going to be the UB4 or UB6. But as I said, get as much information before you buy the product. Another question I've got is, should I consider buying a UB3? Well, that really taps into the last question. I would say it's a nice frame, the UB3. It's become very popular. You might find the university departments might start saying, yes, you could start using this again. When you're in practice, or you might be testing the public's eyes during your three years at university, they may want to see a different trial frame to this one. So as I said, always ask for advice. Another question I've got is, which is the best way to order Lewistone instruments? Are there any further discounts? Well, with the trial frames, we do a number of offers. If you go to www.lewistone.co.uk, you'll see that we do with slit lamp lenses, 
We also do a number of oculuses, so there are offers, so just please go to our website. Another question I've got is, um, you mentioned the UV6 case, can I have some in more information? Well, as you can see, it's the UV4, UV6 case, it costs £24.95, it will take up to four slit lamp lens, and it also takes the UV6. Very useful, even though the trial frames do come in a pretty sturdy box, it might be something for the future to sort of look at investing in. Right, I've got another question. I've got an old Oculus which has got blue cones and not the blue balls. Well, fortunately, Oculus in the last couple of years have brought out what we call a conversion kit, which you can uh, install at either side. It's very, very easy to install. Even I can do it. It costs $59.95, the conversion set. If you go to our website page, www.lewisstone, you'll be able to buy that conversion kit. Right, uh, final question I've got is, should I buy secondhand equipment from other colleagues or on eBay? Um, it's a great question. I would say you could buy secondhand instruments, which are, say, lower priced instruments, but when you get to the stage of Oculus trial frames and slit lamp lenses and various other things, You've got to really think about it. The main reason is if something goes wrong, you've got and bought it second hand. What happens to the guarantee? Can you get spare parts? With Lewis Stone, we always give a guarantee. We've also got spare parts and we've also got the expertise to try and assist you should you have a problem with your instruments. If any of you have got any further questions, please go and send them to info at lewisstone.co.uk and we'll endeavour to answer them as quick as possible. It's been great speaking to you all and see you for series two, which as I said previously, will be on the kit bags, which also include the magic flippers. Bye.